Hi, in this video we're going to do some practice fraction division. So let's get started. 4 fifths divided by 2 thirds. Well the easiest way to do that, in my opinion, is instead of dividing by 2 over 3, we multiply by 3 over 2. So we multiply by the reciprocal of the second term. So we keep the first term, 4 fifths, that stays the same. We change the division to a multiplication instead. So division we change to a multiplication. And then we have to find the reciprocal of that term. So all that means is that we turn that upside down. So we multiply by 3 over 2. So 4 fifths divided by 2 thirds is the same as 4 fifths times 3 over 2. Now that we have a multiplication, it's a fairly easy procedure from here. All we have to do is multiply the top by the top. So 4 times 3, 4 times 3, over the bottom by the bottom, 5 times 2, 5 times 2, 4 times 3 equals 12, over 5 times 2 equals 10. We could simplify that further by dividing top and bottom by 2. So whatever we do to the top, we must do to the bottom to keep the fraction the same. So 12 divided by 2 equals 6. 10 divided by 2 equals 5. And that's our answer, 6 over 5. Now you might be asked to change that to a mixed fraction. Now all that means is that you have to put a whole number out the front. So you have to ask yourself, how many times does 5 go into 6? Well, only once, right? So 1 will be out the front. What's the remainder? 6 divided by 5? Well, it's 1 with a remainder of 1. So all we do is put that as the numerator and we keep the same denominator. So 6 over 5 is the same thing as 1 and 1 fifth. Let's try another one. 1 half divided by 1 sixth. So if we're using the same method, instead of dividing by 1 sixth, we multiply by the reciprocal, so 6 over 1. So 1 half divided by 1 sixth equals 1 half multiplied by 6 over 1. Multiplying those two terms together, we multiply the tops together, so 1 times 6 over the bottoms multiplied together, 2 times 1. 1 times 6 equals 6, 2 times 1 equals 2. 6 over 2 is the same thing as saying 6 divided by 2. So 6 divided by 2 equals 3. That's our answer. Next one, 5 eighths divided by 4 thirds. Well that's the same as saying 5 eighths multiplied by 3 over 4, the reciprocal of 4 thirds, so 3 quarters. Multiplying them together, tops by tops, 5 times 3 over 8 times 4. 5 threes are 15. 8 times 4 equals 32. Can we simplify that any further? No, we can't. There are no common factors there. So that's our final answer, 15 over 32. What if we have a mixed fraction in our problem? 4 and 2 thirds divided by 3 fifths. Well, we do the same thing except that we have to convert the mixed fraction to an improper fraction. To do that, 4 times 3 equals 12 plus 2 equals 14. 14 over 3 is the same as 4 and 2 thirds, times by the reciprocal of 3 fifths, which is 5 over 3. 14 thirds times 5 over 3. Multiplying those together, 14 times 5, tops by tops, bottoms by bottoms, over 3 times 3. 14 times 5 equals 70. 3 times 3 equals 9. 70 over 9. To convert that to a mixed fraction, how many 9's go into 70? Well, 7 9's are 63, so we put a 7 out the front with a remainder of 7, and we keep the denominator of 9. So the final answer is 7 and 7 ninths. Let's try another problem with two mixed fractions this time. So the first thing that we should do is convert both of them to improper fractions. So 6 times 2 is 12 plus 1 is 13. So 13 over 6 divided by 3 times 3 is 9 plus 1 is 10. 10 over 3. Uh, let's uh, multiply by the reciprocal. So 13 over 6 multiplied by 3 over 10. 
That's just the reciprocal of 10 over 3. So tops by tops, 13 times 3 over 6 times 10. 3 13s are 39 over 6 times 10 is 60. We can divide top and bottom by 3 there. So divide by 3, divide by 3. So 39 divided by 3 equals 13 over 60 divided by 3 equals 20. So 13 twentieths. That's our final answer. What if we have a fraction divided by a whole number? 3 fifths divided by 3. Well, the answer should be obvious here. 3 fifths divided by 3 is just 1 fifth, right? But how do we work it out mathematically? Well, we can treat all whole numbers as simply a fraction by placing them over 1. 3 over 1, 3 divided by 1 is just 3. So 3 and 3 over 1 are the same thing. Then we just work it out normally. So 3 over 5 multiplied by the reciprocal of 3 over 1, which is 1 over 3. Tops by tops, 3 times 1 over bottom times bottom, 5 times 3. 3 times 1 is 3, 5 times 3 is 15. We can divide top and bottom by 3 to simplify it. 3 divided by 3 equals 1. 15 divided by 3 equals 5. 1 fifth is our final answer. As expected, 3 fifths divided by 3 is 1 fifth. How about a whole number divided by a fraction? So 5 divided by 5 sevenths. We convert the 5 to a fraction by placing it over 1 and do the same thing. 5 over 1 multiplied by the reciprocal, 7 over 5. So that'll equal tops by tops. 5 times 7 over 1 times 5. 5 times 7 equals 35. 1 times 5 equals 5. 35 divided by 5 equals 7. So 5 divided by 5 sevenths equals 7. Let's revisit the first question again, but this time let's use an alternative method. Instead of multiplying by the reciprocal, instead we'll just get the denominators to be the same. So an easy way to do this is just to multiply by the other denominator. So 4 fifths, the other denominator is 3. So we'll multiply top and bottom by 3. The same for the 2 thirds, we'll multiply by the other denominator, which is 5, 2 times 5 and 3 times 5. The reason we do that is so that the denominators will work out to be the same. 5 times 3 is the same as 3 times 5. So let's rewrite that. 4 times 3 is 12 over 5 times 3 is 15 divided by 2 times 5 is 10 over 3 times 5 equals 15. Now that the denominators are the same, see 15 and 15 are the same here, we can just put 12 over 10. We can just divide 12 by 10. So that's the same thing, 12 divided by 10. Simplifying that, dividing both top and bottom by 2 again, 6 over 5 which equals 1 and 1 fifth as we found previously. Let's try the alternative method again, this time with the second question, 1 half divided by 1 sixth. Remember the goal of the alternative method is to get the denominators to be equal. So here you can see that if we multiply 1 half, top and bottom, by 3, we'll end up getting 6 on the bottom, won't we? So 1 times 3, 2 times 3. Rewrite that, so 1 times 3 is 3, 2 times 3 is 6, divided by 1 sixth. Now that the denominators are equal, we can just rewrite the tops over each other. So 3 over 1. So all of that will equal 3 divided by 1, which equals 3. And just one more using the alternative method, this time the third question that we did, 5 eighths divided by 4 thirds. Again, the goal is to get the same denominator. Because it's a bit hard to work out the common denominator here, we just multiply by the opposite side, so the opposite denominator. So 5 eighths will multiply by 3, top and bottom. 4 thirds will multiply by the other denominator, which is 8, so top and bottom. 5 times 3 is 15. 8 times 3 is 24, divided by 4 times 8 is 32, 
over three times eight is 24. Again, all we have to do is rewrite the fraction using just the numerators here, 15 over 32. And that's our answer. Anyway, that'll do us for today. If you have any questions, please leave them for me below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Cheers!